Hi everyone, it's Sherry with Blessed Bobbles, and I'm so glad you're here. Not much has changed, I still have my little sign, but I really can't part with it. It's just so cute, and it reminds me of, my goodness, I only started this a few weeks ago, less than two months ago, and I threw this sign together one day because I didn't know how to do the technical one that comes down on people's videos, so I'm not much of an editor at this point, just starting out. But yes, I would love it if you'd subscribe, if you'd leave a like, and if you click the bell, you'll be notified the next time I put out another video. So thanks so much. Thank you so much. Also, just very quickly, if you see any pieces you'd like to buy, here is how you can do so. You're welcome to take a screenshot of this um, list of what to do or you can go in the video's description page and there'll be instructions there as well. But if you email me at capecodebaygirl at gmail.com and you send me the video name with the episode number, the timestamps of the pieces you like, brief descriptions of those pieces and their prices, I'll be able to find what you're asking me for very quickly. I don't need any screenshots, but if you wanna send me one for your own reference, that's perfectly fine. Just leave a little note in there like some of my wonderful people do. They put in little parentheses and say, screenshot for me or themselves. So that's pretty wonderful. But thank you so much. Okay, so today we are opening the fourth bag from the 37 pounds. I couldn't wait to get to this day. Look at the goodies in here. Oh my gosh, there's something looks like maybe moon glow or Oh, I don't know. I see bright pink. I'm hoping that's coral. Ooh, look at the blues. And look at the reds. And the greens. Maybe I should start from this side because I think that's where the zipper is. Wow. And look at this cuff. It's huge. I think it's a cuff. So let's get started. I hope there's going to be some really goodies in here. There's always goodies in here, right? And I'd like to let you know, if you're new to my channel, that what I do is I open the jewelry with you right on my video. I don't open it ahead of time, mostly. If I do open it ahead of time, I let you know. So I just want the newer people to know that I am opening this for the first time. I'm seeing the pieces for the very first time. So it's not going to be a super fast video because I haven't already looked at it all and researched it. I'm trying to share the experience as I'm having it with you. Okay, I'm going to stop gabbing and rip this tape off. So it's going to be a little noisy. And I want to be very careful because, as you know, you can sometimes clip a piece of jewelry if you want careful. But at the same time, I want to rip it open. I'm excited. It's always so much fun to, um, to open a new bag. It's fun to open anything in jewelry. That's another thing I wanted to say, too, is that I like to respect every piece of jewelry. I'm not just looking for gold, silver, although those things are wonderful, and I understand they bring you the most profit, and I need to pay my bills like anyone else, but I am going to respect every piece of jewelry, even if you might think it should go in the craft jar or it's not worth anything. I think every piece of jewelry is worth something to someone. So in my own heart, anyway, I love all the jewelry, and I do like to give respect to all pieces. I think jewelry is very personal and what someone might have lost years ago and they see it on the video um, all those kinds of things add to why I like to respect all pieces of jewelry and I know that everyone does I'm not saying no one does and that I'm some super duper I'm just explaining why sometimes I might seem a little slower than other youtubers and seem like I take all this time and detail. But that's what I'm doing. I'm honoring every piece, and I just love to look at every little thing anyway. So I hope that helps explain my aim in this 
brand new YouTube excursion that I'm doing. And I would love to hear what you think. Don't worry if you think your comments are quote unquote negative. They all help me. Some of the seemingly meanest comments have been some of my most helpful. So I am open to all comments. Okay, I'm trying to get the sticky tape out because if I don't, then everything's going to stick to it as I'm pulling it out of the bag. So more noise. Make more noise in this. Because I am doing this right now. Live television, folks. No, it's not live. Okay, let's go. Put it back here because the camera will focus on too much. So first we have this. <gasps> what are you? It's a brooch. It's some kind of a brooch with rhinestones, copper color beads on a fabric. Isn't that cool? Oh, it's really cool. It's a little dirty. They are prong set. Oh my gosh, I've never seen anything like that. That's awesome. I wonder what kind of fabric. This feels like wool. And wool is a very durable fabric, but I can't be sure. Let me have a peek with my loopy loop. Wow, I know that those, those gems in there are older. They definitely look like older rhinestone so let's put this aside I think and keep it going wow a wrappy wrap a wrap bracelet this is not feeling cold two of them so they are acrylic but they look like crystal don't they so this is a gold tone acrylic beaded at here as well wrap bracelet and we have two of them very pretty they're in great shape the bead inside of here is a golden faux pearl nice so we'll do these for four dollars a piece okay this beautiful emerald green piece what are you oh i see some art glass i see some pearls i can't wait all right, this looks a bit vintage, or maybe vintage recreation with the large lobster clasp. But we have three strands of gorgeous emerald green acrylic beads. And you see that little line in them? That means that they were poured into a mold. They're very faceted. They have silver tone beads in between. Really pretty. This is very interesting. And there's the class. Great condition on the metal. Okay, let's put this on the neck, see what it looks like. Very, very lovely. The shape of the beads is something I haven't seen before. They look, what would you call that shape? It's wider on this side and not as wide on this side. I don't know. Um, like apple? If you put it that way, it would look like an apple. Apple-shaped beads, I think. Three strands. Very lovely. Let's give it a quick measure. And we've got some crumbs happening. Let's see what you think about this one. Ooh, I could have used this in my, my five-piece jewelry bags last night. That was so fun, and you guys loved it. And I had a couple of bags that were green tone colors, and they both sold. So this is 16 inches on the initial strand, and then 20 inches on the last strand. Then there's about another inch and a half of extension chain. So there you go. Lovely acrylic necklace, and we will say $7 on that. Wow. This is nice, very, very nice. Okay, I have to look at these pearls. They're connected to an earring. You know what that means, we're gonna have to get our earring board out. <gasps> look at these rhinestones. Really nice. Fiddling with the light, I think that works well. 
Hmm. Let's see if there's any marks. And let's rub these together to see if they feel real. They, I don't think they're real. I'm not sure. They are knotted in between. We have lobster claw clasp and a cute pearl at the end. So I'm going to say these are a really good job at faux pearls, knotted and everything. Let's look at the back. See if there's anything there. And I'll look with my loopy. Not seeing any marks. The pearls have a really nice luster. The knotting is a great job. The rhinestones are not prong set. They're glued in, but that doesn't mean it isn't beautiful. So there you go, rhinestone faux pearl knotted necklace. Very good um, metal finish, great condition. It is 17 inches where it is clasped now. And there is another two inch extender. So how about that pretty piece? And we'll see if anything comes up that matches the earrings and the like. But for now, we will say $6 on this one. Okay, we have an art glass earring. It's a lovely root beer color, maybe amber color. Very nice with what looks like a brass tone hook, but we will put it on our board. We have our first item for our wait for your mate board. And you know what's coming. I have to sing it at least once. Wait for your mate, wait for your mate. You know you gotta wait for your mate. For those of you that are new, that's a really fun thing that just happened out of the clear blue one day. I don't know why I was singing a silly song but some people really liked it, so it kind of caught on. We have another Wait for Your Mate, which is sort of a, maybe an African bead. Nice gold tone post. I'll check all these for, like if they magnet, then I won't bother to check for gold. This one does magnet. And you're gonna wait for your mate too. I kind of want this closer to me so I don't have to reach my arm in front of you, so where can it go? This Prissy's over there, my metal testing stuff is over there. Lots of tools. Sometimes it's not easy with all the tools. Okay, this looks like a big package of bangles. Hmm. Let's see where they're from. Bangle Bangle by Amrita Singh. Oh, I think that's a good maker. I think those sell pretty well. I'll have to check that out. But yes, I think that is a good bangle maker. That's a beautiful one right there, huh? I mean, they're all pretty. Go together nice. Let's see if there's any kind of price tag, because I could be wrong. It just says multi. Eight bracelets, no price. So, not sure. Okay, so I just took a quick look on eBay. I wish I could show you with my phone, but it's my phone that I'm recording with. But these do sell pretty well. These are called um, Monaco Brass and Beaded Blue Turquoise Bangle Set. And they go for about $14.15. So I will say $10 for the set. And they're still in their ribbon. Hope you love those. Okay, next. Oh, I like that we have some things that are on the cards and that are marked. Let's see. We love that you were a sale, but we need to know what your name is. Atrium. Adorable little glass beaded earrings. Pretty sure that's what the maker is on there. Um, let's see, these are like a smoky topaz, and these are a blue color. Super sweet. They were $6.99 some time ago. 
So I will say five for the two pairs. We'll go $4 for the two pairs. And this, by the way, is like a gunmetal color. So $4 for the two earrings. Okay, what is this one? Alchemy, affordable luxury for every woman. I hope you'll love the bracelet. Okay, it's still got the tag on it. There's a lot of writing in there. I don't want to take up the time to read it all, but gold and gemstone jewelry offering affordable. Okay, they're not saying anything about what the stone is. Oh, it's on a nice condition um, stretch. But it would be nice if they said, hey, this is such and such stone, wouldn't it? Okay, well, let's get our Miss Prissy out and see what she has to say. Come on, girl, time to get up and do your job. And again, for those of you that are new to my channel or any type of jewelry stuff, this is a Persidium gem tester. And it does test the hardness of a stone, which can tell us the general area that a stone might be. Ooh, as I'm talking, I'm seeing an earring that matches that green necklace. Yes, I love it. So cute. Okay, put that aside. And we'll wait to see what that test as. Oh, I see some more. <gasps> Look at these. Now, I think these are gonna be different types of Jasper. Am I getting better at this? Or maybe aventurine? Nonetheless, it's gorgeous, but oh man, stretch isn't that great. I'd be so scared of that. So beautiful though. I think I'll sell it for the beads and we'll do $5 on that because they're gorgeous. My favorite colors, $5 on the not so stretchy, probably aventurine. Okay, let's see what Miss Percy says on this other blue one. And they do test as, they're testing in the quartz. So I would say they are dyed quartz. Blue dyed quartz bracelet with this tag on it with a great stretch and we'll do $4 on this bracelet. Oh, we got some bracelets going. And this one is so cold. I know those stones are real. Let's just see what she says about these. Yes, these are testing in the chrysophrase emerald nephrite area, which I think could be a venturine. Let me know, you gem buddies. I've already priced that, so we'll put that aside. Okay, should we leave her out? Let's see if we have any other gemstones to test very quickly. I think I see one here. Oh my. Can you believe it? Look how cute that is. It's a mushroom. And not only just a mushroom, but it's got the white glass. Then they went ahead and put the amber glass on top of it. Can you imagine doing those lamp work beads and making those kind of details? So I think this is artisan made because they put a cross on it and a mushroom and Let's see what these test as. They are very cold. Sometimes when they're very, very cold, they can be jade. But if they're just cold, then they can be either a dyed quartz or something in that area. Bolty is coming up here to photobomb. So I'm not sure about these. They're not going up to jade, but that that mushroom is precious but again the stretch is not wonderful I'm gonna sell it as if someone will restring it and we'll do 15 that's fabulous that would make such a cute necklace earrings the whole set that is so cute <laughs> okay Chico's earrings you know what I think I should put these aside because we'll probably have a necklace that matches I love how they make things. This is all glass, all different colors. Beautiful colors. Great condition. These are 18. 
to start with. Nice to know they're hypoallergenic, so I'll put those aside, see if there's a matching necklace or a bracelet or maybe all. And I'm going to put this on the wait for your mate board because it's going to be a great piece to add to our necklace that we found. All right, let me see if I can find another gemstone so we can test at the same time. Okay, I see a pink one, and it feels very cold. So maybe some rose quartz. I love that larger bead right there, the feature bead. Super pretty. Stretch on this one feels much better. I would just be careful with it. Roll it on, as you know. Let's see what Miss Chrissy says. So if it's quartz, you will see in this area on the bottom, it says quartz. Let's try to get really super close. See how it says quartz on that bottom line? Amethyst citrine. If the needle falls in the middle of that black line, it would be rose quartz. If it goes up to that top line where it says jade, then it could be like a lavender jade. So, Oh, I love this time of day where my phone isn't going crazy on me with the lighting. Okay, let's see what we got. And it's going to the jade. It is going up there. But then here it's going to the quartz. So I'm going to be safe and say, just when I say that, it goes up again. Wow, it might be lavender jade. Hmm. They say that the Presidium Gem Tester does not go way up there for no reason. And that you should take the first reading. I'm not trying to sell the bracelet for more. It would be the same price to me, but I just want to be, you know, correct in what I'm saying. So I think lavender jade, or if you want to think rose quartz, that's okay. But we will do, oh, I didn't test this bigger one. Now that one is falling in the the, the quartz um, area, so that's probably dyed quartz. Nonetheless, we'll do this one for $6. No, Bolty is trying to photobomb me. Bolty, no. I hear him meowing. You're so fresh. You're so fresh. You need to get down, Bolty. I know they like to see you, but there's not enough room with my camera to show you. MK Designs, Mary Kircher. Look what Mary Kircher made. Whoa. Isn't that beautiful? That's like, that is a Millefiori bead. So I don't know if she took the beads and made the earrings or made the beads also, but I guess if someone wants to email her, if she's still in business, they could. So let's put that up there in the wait for your mate along with this very lovely shell earring. Isn't that gorgeous? It's like a pink shimmery color. Nice. Lots of greens and beautiful colors. We have this wrap bracelet. This is adorbs too with the starfish and the little pearl in the middle. I love the teal color right here. And the amber colors and that sort of milky blue what a lovely bracelet and there's rhinestones in those there's rhinestones in them their heels <laughs> let me see there's rhinestones on the starfish so cute so i'm not sure of the maker Let's see if it says anything on the back not that I can see, but wow, is that shimmering, right? It does seem a bit older. And some are glass and some are acrylic. But that is a beauty. And I'm going to say 10 on that. Look at all the bracelets that we've uncovered here so far. This is fun stuff. 
Speaking of that, here's another one. Super nice stretch. This, I'm not going to say it's how light. There's another stone that it looks like how light, but it's not. Uh, let me just find out. Okay, it's called Magnesite. Magnesite. And that's what looks also like turquoise. So I think that's what this is. There's a little bit of difference between this and how light, and I think I'm learning that difference. So we have some plastic silver tone, nicely textured beads, very nice stretch, nice looking piece. We'll do that for $4. Now, what are you? Oh my gosh, could it be Bakelite? Does Bakelite have rhinestones in it? Oh no, it's J. Crew. Boy, did they do a great job making this bracelet look like Bakelite, right? Did they use Bakelite? I don't know. I'm going to say probably not. Bolte is <laughs> he's fiddling with my stuff. He's trying to get all kinds of attention. He just wants to be with the mama. Okay, we have this gorgeous faux tortoise shell, I would guess. It is from, I'm sorry, from inside to inside. What am I doing? I forgot to show you guys. Look what I finally got. My bracelet measurer. Woo I, I tried to buy one and it was a scam and it didn't work. And now I just finally bought one and it came today. So I'm so excited. Let's see. It's my first time using it too. It is measuring almost eight inches. I guess you don't want to push it down. And I was very careful to put this together exactly on the line. So it's almost eight inches. J. Crew. I'm so excited about my bracelet measurer. But let me also do this way because some of you are used to that. And it's a little over. Well, it's two and. Let's see, that is two and a half and a little bit more. I don't want to count those little lines, but a little over two and a half. J. Crew, tortoise shell, rhinestone. And J. Crew does well. I'm going to say $12 on this. Very cool. Another wrap bracelet. This feels very cold. Has. It's probably an price tag was there. It has those lovely coppery beads that I see anyway on so many 80s type jewelry. And then I don't know what these are. They're almost like a moon glow looking bead. <clears throat> Excuse me, a long, a longer seed bead. Anyway, it's very pretty. Let me just see if Miss Percy tests these as glass or something. Yes, these are glass. So glass and a copper tone. Memory wire bracelet for five. Five dollars. Wow, there's some really beautiful stackable pieces here. Like you can wear those together. I'm all into matchy matchy. Look at this stunner. Look at all those rhinestones and that beautiful turquoise color. The stretch is excellent. It is small. Hmm. Should I try to put it on? <laughs> Last night I put on a ring and I couldn't get it off for a minute. I felt so silly. Nice prong set rhinestones. They're looking kind of more to the blue side on my camera. But in person, they're aqua blue. What a gorgeous piece. Here's the other silver tone side. It's really in super nice condition. I'll put it on my bracelet measurer. I'm so happy. And we'll get an idea for where it sits, but it is a stretch, so you don't know. I don't know what to tell you, but this is where it's sitting. Maybe at a six before it starts stretching a little more. So it is kind of tiny, 
but it's also kind of gorgeous. Let me just stretch it a little bit. Oh yeah, and it's not the normal like elastic stretch. It's metal inside of metal. So enough gab about that. I'm gonna say 15 on that beautiful prong set. I wonder how many stones are in there. A lot, I'm sure. Hello, hello, and thanks so much for joining me. I would like to encourage you to subscribe to the channel. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up on your way out, okay? And if you don't want to miss the next one, make sure you click the bell so that YouTube will notify you as soon as I post another video. So thanks so much, and I'm so glad you're here. I wanted to give you some quick instructions. If you see any jewelry you'd like to purchase, this is how you do so. You can email me at capecodebaygirl at gmail.com and please send me these four pieces of information. You'll want to give me the video name and the episode number if there is one, the timestamps of when your pieces show up on the video. You can just push the pause button and the timestamps will show up on your screen. A brief description of the pieces that you like and it really helps when you use the same kind of wording that I use even though I know I can get a little nutty sometimes and use silly descriptions, but try to use those descriptions or we'll figure it out with a timestamp. And then also let me know the prices that were given, okay? Thank you so much, so, so much. I don't like commercial breaks, but a lot of you have asked me to put this information out um, as I'm going through the video, so here you go. If you see some pieces you like, you'd like to purchase, please contact me at capecodebaygirl at gmail.com. I know some YouTubers uh, allow you to put their, to put your wishes in the comment section, but I find that very confusing, so I answer my emails in the order they are received. So email me at capecodebaygirl at gmail.com with the video name and episode number, if there is one, the timestamps of the pieces that you like, you can hit the pause button and you'll see the timestamp on the screen in case you didn't know already. Brief description of the pieces and the prices that were given. Okay, thank you so, so much. And I hope if you're loving the channel, you're loving the jewelry, you're loving the atmosphere, that you'll take a minute and hit the subscribe button. I don't think it would take you away from the video. I think you can still do that while you're watching. Just saying, just saying. Okay, thanks. All right, let's see what's next. All right, this one is really screaming at me. <gasps> Talk about green yesterday. This is beautiful. Green enamel necklace. Wow. That's a beautiful color. I'm not seeing a hang tag on it, so let's look at the back. Wow, that's in really good shape. Hmm, not sure how to age this, you know. It does have the lobster clasp, but I'm not such an expert that I would know that. Let me get a little wipey. Let's see how she cleans up because it just has a little bit of something on it. And I like to have one of these handy anyway. I keep cleaning my hands. So bear with me a second, because I want you to know if this is going to clean. Oh, yes. Very, very nicely. Now I need something to wipe it off with. Okay. I think that looks great. Let's see what she looks like on the necklace. So this is enamel painted three-part gorgeous necklace. It's going to need a little more. I mean, I did that kind of quickly, but needs a little more cleaning. I would say it probably does have a little bit of wear. It's not going to be perfect, but what a color. What a gorgeous color. I'm so silly. I'm like thinking of, oh, how this would match it and how some of the earrings would match it like these so many nice things here really pretty colors but anyway let me give you a measurement that is a lovely vintage piece K 
Okay. I sure hope you're having a great weekend. My video last night was so much fun. I usually don't put them out on a Friday night, but I put out a Friday fun, Friday fun night jewelry bag, I think I called it. So this is 16 inches with a three inch extender. The chain has a little bit of wear, not bad at all. I mean, very minimal. And I'm going to say $8 on that very beautiful necklace. Oh, I'm not noticing that it needs to be fixed right there. Just needs that little copper hook to be put back on. And if it's in the bag, I'll put that ring on there. If it's not, I'll let you know. But I'm sure I can find a ring and fix that up. So I'll put that aside. Make sure I remember to fix that. Did I give a price on this? Oh my gosh, I'll have to rewind the video to find out. Because I don't remember two seconds ago. So much jewelry screaming at me. Another brand new bunch of bracelets with a tag on them. Okay, this says Brass Multi, $24. So they must be on brass. That's nice to know. Or maybe brass tone, who knows? Well, look at them, they're beautiful. They are in excellent shape. There's the metal on the back. Obviously brand new. Now let me see if I can describe the colors. And they're definitely cold, so they are glass. There's, ooh, they're like a milky opal color. There you go, now you can see. A, B colors, purple colors, black. That's a beautiful set and a lovely stackable set of bracelets. The only way I know how to do these is to just give you a general idea of how wide they are because stretchies, it's just too tough to tell. So they are two and a half wide, just sitting like they are, and the stretch is wonderful. I'm gonna say 15 on these. It's a lot of gorgeous rhinestones. Beautifully prong set. I think that's worth it. Let me know what you think. Do you think that's worth that? Wow. Okay. This is very heavy. I didn't expect it to be this heavy. This is super heavy. Like, I don't mean terribly heavy, but I mean, well, I don't have my beadball bracelets on today, but it's as heavy as those. Really nice. All right, let's see if it magnets. It's not magneting. Could someone have taken a sterling silver bead ball bracelet and just put it on a rubber band um, sort of situation? They could have. I wonder about that. Like, what do people do if their bracelet breaks? So let's put that aside and I'll do some testing because it does not magnet. Very interesting on that one. I see some more sparklies. Another one brand new with tags. And we already had one like this, so we'll just add it to those. Looks like I'm going to have to untangle the string though. Okay, let's unwind you. Wait a minute, which one does this go to? Wow, that's a little bit of a situation there. Brown, hmm, I think that goes to here. All right, I'm gonna take a minute to get this undone. Wow, I almost had to make a whole new video out of that like I did with my other tangled items called Come Untangle With Me. So here's another one of the acrylic, very sparkly bracelets. I think we have $4 on each of those. This one is, this is a beautiful amber color glass faceted, also memory wire bracelet with some gold tone accents. JCP, maybe JCPenney? Very pretty, and I will say 
three dollars on that sparkly baby wow we are in bracelet paradise another one of these another four dollars i'm not sure if someone would want all four of these but i'm thinking should i put all four of them together i mean i don't know if somebody would want that many of the same thing but if you do, you can have all four for 12, otherwise they're $4 a piece, okay? Thanks. Next we have this bracelet, gold tone. It's a stretchy also, but it kind of looks like not as good a shape as I'd like it to be. I mean, the gold finish is fine, but I just feel like that might be a good craft jar piece to do, so. That leads me to our craft jar for this video, and we are calling this one Frida. I also want to say, well, for some of you that are new, it's been really fun to build a craft jar as we go along, unbagging the jewelry. We find items that aren't so great, we put them in the craft jar, and I also put things aside all week just for my wonderful subscribers to put great things in the craft jar. So that's what we're doing here. They're not glass, so you're not paying for me to ship you glass, but they look like glass, pretty. And that's what that is. So this is our first contribution into our jewelry hospital with the name Frida. That also leads me to a couple things I wanted to say. And I wanna thank a couple of people. And one of those people is Frida. Frida. Tyser, it's a couple names on here, but Frida Tyser is our top commenter on the channel. So thank you, Frida, for all your loving, wonderful, really fun comments. You've been really such a joy to me. You're all a joy to me, but I want to thank Frida, honor her with the jewelry jar. And I think Frida figured out how to email me and ordered that bag of pearl jewelry. So good for her. I also want to thank Anna Miller, because she's been commenting a lot on gemstones, which has been very helpful. So thank you, Anna Miller. We love your comments. That helps us all. And I want to thank Linda Pasta. I hope I'm saying that okay. Because she was the person that commented in the comments of one of my videos to perhaps do colored blocks. And that's what I did last night with the jewelry bags that were in certain colored themes. So thank you, Linda, for that suggestion. It really turned out to be a lot of fun. Another really super fun thing is that we have a subscriber named Ton Hoffman, and she buys a lot of the craft jars, and she sends me pictures of the things she makes, and oh my goodness, they're drop-dead gorgeous. She's really fantastic. And I asked her if she would mind if I shared where she sells her jewelry. She did not mind if I shared. So this is her name on Facebook. And if you want to find her on Instagram, you go to T. Hoffman Creations. So that's that. And I'll try to figure out how to put a link to that in the comments as well. So thank you so much, everyone. I'm just so excited about your contribution and everything that all of you do. It's a beautiful thing. Okay, I see some door knocker, heart thumper, enamel earrings that are stunning. Get out of town. These are beautiful. Look at that enamel. These are so nicely done. If they're not signed, I'll be shocked because they're such beautiful quality. And look at the stoppy thing on there. It's brand new. I wonder if it would be marked under that. Not sure. Let me look. Give you something to focus on. And I will look through my loopy. Wow. They're really nice quality. I'm not seeing a maker on there, but wow. Gorgeous. Um, what do I do? I, I will list these on eBay, but before I do, I will offer them 
for $20. If you love them, you'll let me know and you'll scoop them up. Nice, very heavy weight, gold tone. And if it's too much, then people on eBay are willing to pay more because they're looking for that specific thing. So, so we'll say 20 and then we'll see what happens. And oh my gosh, I just listed a pair of signer earrings last night on eBay that were three pearl just like these. And I'm reaching in the bag, finding one that's just like it. Hmm, looking for any kind of marks. The signer ones are gold tone, and these are silver tone. And if you get a chance to go to my eBay store, take a look at the signer earrings. The pearl quality on them is, I can't even talk about how beautiful it is. It's really stunning, and I, I'm beginning to learn why certain makers are very collectible, because they make really terrific pieces. So this needs some cleaning, it's silver tone, like I said, but I think these are pretty old nonetheless, and they're gorgeous too. They're not signer quality, but they're beautiful. So let's see if we can find the other one. Oh, I'm not seeing the other one yet, but let me put it aside then. But I'm seeing this one, a pearl drop earring. So pretty. I love that. It does appear to have a little scratch, but let's do the wipey thing because a lot of times it can just be a little something on there. Hmm. Yes, it's coming off. Well, that's wonderful that it's not a scratch. Three pearls, gold tone, pearl drop, and this is a pierced earring. So this one is going to go wait for its mate. Wait for its mate. You know you gotta wait for your mate. Hey, I found the other earring that goes with this necklace. So let's see. Let me show you again quickly in case you're just tuning in. This is our green gorgeous necklace matching earrings. So I'm going to add another $5 for the matching earrings. How great is it to have something matching like that? I think it's super great. Maybe we'll find even more pieces. Okay, we have our, in these bags, we usually have some kind of pendant that's kind of floating around. Maybe lost its chain, don't know. Letter M, it's in glass. I don't know much about this. Doesn't appear to be sterling. Maybe this bottom piece is, we'll have to look closely. But yes, a glass pendant, very nice. Let me know if you're interested in that. Look at these beautiful babies. They're like, um, what can I say? Well, it looks like this chain needs a little bit of untangling. Let's see, here's the other one. Hey, this one has a knot in it too, but not in the same place, so I don't think that's on purpose. I'll have to untangle that little knot. I wonder if they're sterling. They're not cold. I can't say what they're made of, but I guess acrylic. And they're made to just be very sparkly. So those are adorbs. I will definitely get the tangle out. It does look like it's marked. Let me look. No, it's not marked that I can see right now quickly. So let's use the magnet. Yep, they're magnetic. So they're not sterling, but I'll get that knot out. and Or I could put them in the craft jar and someone else could get the knot out. What do you think? Are they so fabulous that they should be sold for like $4 or put in the craft jar? I'm going to say 4 on these. I don't think it's going to be an issue to get that knot out. It's already loosening. So... All right, yes. See how loose it's getting? We'll do four on those. See what happens. Another earring on the card. Wow. Dichroic glass jewelry. I always try to think of that word dichroic glass, and here it is worded for me. Thank you, God, on a piece of paper. 
Oh, I love how they wrap around that way. The little indent. These are very beautiful. The sea parrot. And they're from Maine. Oh, that's nice. That's right next to me. Let me see if they're marked on the gold tone. But I'll give you something to look at. Looks like our other earring. And a cute necklace. So you can look at that while I look at the earrings. And yes, they are marked with some kind of a symbol. And they say um, 14 karat, 1 20th, 14 karat gold filled. Nice, very beautiful. Not sure what these kind of earrings go for, but I could take a quick peek. Put those aside for a second. This is, is it our other Millefiori? No, it's not. It's a little bit like it, but it's not as pronounced in the Millefiori. So maybe it's a different one, or maybe Mary Kircher, I don't know, used a couple different beads. Here, let's look again. So that's that bead. See how it's not as pronounced with the little tiny glass pieces inside of the Millefiori? So let's see what happens. Maybe there's another one in there. We'll give Mary a chance. See if maybe she made two different pairs. This is a threaded corded necklace. And it has some really cool copper color pieces here. But it is unraveling. I'm not in love with the condition. So I'm going to put that aside. Um, I'm not sure if I should fill the craft jar with that. It's a small craft jar, so I think I'm going to make a bigger craft bag with that. And speaking of that color, this is that color again. Isn't that beautiful? It's like a coppery, coppery color stretch bracelet. The stretch is great. I love the rope design there. And... The back is in good condition. That time of day where it's getting darker out. Don't see any marks. I'll say $3 on the coppery color bracelet. Wow, we should call this bracelet day today. Hey, here's some of those long glass seed beads, but in a hoop earring. And they're orange. Very lovely. Wait for your mate. This is our wait for your mate board, and that's how it's going so far. Plus, we have some pairs that have been put to the side. This seems like a bracelet that you hook it right there. And these pearls look real. They sure are. They are real pearls on a cord. Very nice. Look at the different colors of them. I just think real pearls are one of the most beautiful things in the world. The luster. They're gorgeous. I will say, and the, the cording is in great shape. I'm going to say 15 on the real pearl bracelet. Do you need to know the measure of it? Probably. Let's do that. I also got my new necklace stand thingy I'll show you in a minute because I think it's going to be great, especially when I get to do the live auctions. Okay, I need someone else to hold this still. There's no one here except Bolty. So this is, I want to get this right, and I can use my new bracelet thingy too. It's about seven, but it's so fiddly. Let's use my new bracelet measure. I keep forgetting I have it. Okay, I'm not sure if you can tell with that many pieces on there, but what would you say, about a six and a half? Some of it goes to a seven. 
I'd say to be safe, six and three quarters. That's that on the beautiful pearl bracelet. Wow, I had no idea the bag was full of bracelets, and I just got this today, so that is such a blessing. This is cold, so I'm assuming these are glass, and we have some beautiful copper colors, but uh-oh, we also have some boo-boos. Get this out of the way. You can see where the beads are a little worn right here. So it's going to have to go in our jewelry hospital. But these beads are fabulous. The drill holes are very nice. Has a silver tone bead there. Very beautiful glass beaded bracelet. And it is going to go in our Frida craft jar. Our next contribution. Maybe I can stop a minute and put some more things in there. It's always fun to do. What I got here? Um, hmm. Yeah, those might be for a bigger craft jar. Well, I guess I'll be more prepared when I do that. Sorry about that. Okay, this looks like it's got some wear to it. Or someone loved it to pieces. And here's our other African themed bead earring that the mate was waiting on the board. They are acrylic carved looking and they are like, um, let's see, what color would that be? I want to say, gee, it's like pink, orange, rust color all together more of a rust color i hope that wasn't too confusing but here's the pair gold tone wires great shape and i'll say three dollars on those okay back to our very loved statement necklace with some super heavy duty rhinestone beads this was a stunner in its day Wow, look at the open back. It's definitely on copper. I can see the copper underneath. See the copper metal in there? It's not showing well on the camera, but right here, copper. So it's copper underneath, I would venture to say. And this is gonna go in our craft jar and look at these rhinestones. Are they prong set? They're not prong set, but they are hefty. I bet they look really super nice, all cleaned up. These are stunners. There's like a smoky black color in the middle in here, and then these marquee cut and then teardrop shape. Lots of beautiful rhinestones on this piece. That's going to make a lot of beautiful jewelry for sure. And maybe, who knows, maybe our jewelry maker friend that I mentioned earlier, maybe she'll be making pieces. We'll see. Okay, we have lots of color going on here. Is this all one necklace? Wow. Wowzy wow. Lots of bracelets, but the necklaces are coming out and a brooch. Oh, that's a necklace. So many things. Uh-oh. I see some falling off. Wow, it's not too often that we have broken items. But I think we're... Oh my gosh, you guys, come on. Look how old that earring is. That's fabulous. That's definitely brass and it's marked it says western germany what these are gorgeous they're acrylic purple beads western germany is very collectible oh my sweetie pie you better have your mate you better go wait for that mate, and that mate better come, honey, because 
I'm really loving on you. Okay. Really cool cat eye beads on something broken. They are glass. Let's see what happened to this poor darling. Maybe it's not going to be as bad as we think. I'll try to catch it to where it doesn't unravel anymore. It's on a wire, which is pretty nice. And it looks new because it's still covered. Maybe this is salvageable. Oh, it's gorgeous. They're all glass. It feels so luxurious. Look how many strands. Brass tone chain. This is beautiful. Okay, I am actually going to stop the video a minute, put these beads on, and try to hook that on there just so I have it all set. Hi guys, taking a minute to remind you how to purchase jewelry. People do ask me to stop and do this often, but I'm having so much fun with the jewelry that I usually don't think of it. So please email me at capecodebaygirl at gmail.com with the video name and episode number. That's important because we've gone nine episodes now, right? The timestamps, a brief description, and the prices of the jewelry. Thanks so much. That will help me find things really quickly and get back to you. And as always, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, so you don't miss the next video. Miss Percy says goodbye. Okay, so I did thread them back on there. However, I'm sure there's one of those little end clampers that I need to find to put with this also. So I'm going to go ahead and offer this. It's so beautiful. The weight of it is gorgeous. I don't even want to put it on the neck because I don't want to bother it too much, but it could probably be doubled. Look at those beads. They're gorgeous. I'm going to say $18 on this, and I will include the little clamper piece. See how I just wrapped that little wire around? And we'll get a bag and treat this very, very carefully. That is a beautiful red and blue color, my goodness. Okay, what? Look at this. Is it a clamper? It's sort of like a memory wire piece. Wow. Look at how many rhinestones. Brown, maybe crystals inside of those flowers. This is so beautiful. Yeah, my lights are going nutty. Okay. I'm not seeing anything missing so far. I don't know what this would be. It's so pretty. Don't know. So it has a wire running along here and along the other side. It's loaded with so many things. Oh, wait a minute. What's this? Little piece that's broken? Yeah, look at that. Just a little bit broken right there. Oh, what to do with this beauty? I think I, I don't want to just craft it because I think someone could easily glue that and enjoy it. So why don't we say $10 for that piece? We'll bring it way down because of that little bit to fix, okay? I hope that's a great deal. Certainly is beautiful. Okay, what are you? This is one of the things I remember seeing in the picture when I was looking at if I should buy this lot. And I thought they looked a bit acrylic, but they were beautiful nonetheless. And these are glass right here. So we have a combination of glass and acrylic. The colors are stunning. It's like a lilac purple. We've got turquoise blues and another purple. Let's hope this one has a hang tag. It has silver tone on the chain, but the chain is worn down to copper. So other than it being drop-dead gorgeous, the chain is a little worn. 
chain's very worn, I would say. I might need to replace that piece there, but certainly no reason to to send this off to the hospital because there's nothing wrong with this except that chain. <gasps> wow. That is a gorgeous statement piece. I'm just thinking of all the things that I could wear this with. <laughs> I, I'm not supposed to be thinking what I'll wear it with. I'm supposed to be thinking what you could wear it with. Isn't that terrible? Anyway, these are glass crystal beads. And I don't know what else to say except, wow, that's beautiful. I think I will put a price of 18 on it. It's not terribly old because it has a lobster class. And you'll let me know what you think. It is glass... It is acrylic, and it is beautiful. Oh, I'm thinking of so many things that would match this. This would have been the bag to make matching jewelry out of. You know what? Whatever pieces don't sell, I'm going to take this bag, and I'm going to match, matchy match up a bunch of jewelry, because this is going to be an easy one. Okay, another brand new bracelet. This has yellows in it. It's got some lovely glass art glass beads with like a copper foil. This may be acrylic. This is glass. This is glass. That peachy one is glass. That's glass. Isn't that pretty? It's like clear with yellow in the middle. Anyway, it has a toggle clasp. We'll give it a measure. There's really no name on there, but it does call itself an art glass bracelet. So that's interesting. And it measure, I like to measure bracelet open up like this when it does open up because it's nice and accurate. Seven and a quarter. Seven to seven and a quarter. Because you've got that little bit of room with the toggle. Lovely art glass bracelet, $10. Beautiful yellows and peachy color. You needed something with those colors. Wow. And I love getting these. The faux tortoise shell, they always sell. These are pierced. Very nice condition. I'll put some new silver backs on them. Oh, those are gorge. I might have to do a catch and release on these. But let me just say $4, and we'll see how it goes. I'm going to have to wrap it up here soon. I've been having issues with my phone, the battery, and going off, um, <clears throat> excuse me, fixing those things. These are adorable. This feels like Onyx to me. The little variations in it sure looks like it. But... Not sure, so this will go aside. Yeah, that's really cool stone. And we've got another little earring here with a rose on it. A package of earrings. Those are super sweet. They are little clip-ons. Wow. Made in China, but they also have like Chinese writing. Let's see. They're so cute. They're prong set. They're pink. <gasps> Look how adorbs. I like those very much. Well, not so much prong set, but they're set inside the metal, which is so beautiful. They are a pearlized... What would you call that when it's rainbowy color on the outside. You guys can send me comments and remind me of what what name I'm thinking of when I have a brain cramp. <laughs> Iridescent, that's what I'm trying to think of. We'll do these new coupons for seven dollars. They're so adorable. And I'll have to sign off here in just a minute, so I'm gonna have to go make my thumbnail. What else can I show you really quick? Or maybe we can finish off our craft jar. Wow, there's lots more bracelets. 
Looks like there's going to be a necklace and an earring match here. Here's my other vintage, oh, the other vintage three pearl earring. Looks like it might have come off and someone re-glued it. Oh, and it's missing the little, oh, no, it's not. Yeah, it's missing that little end that you turn it with. Oh, my gosh, these have so, come such a long way in their lives, and they're such a beautiful luster. Oh, what do I do? Put them in the craft jar? I think someone that would love clip-ons maybe would like to fix them. Let me see if I can find that other piece. And here they go, being put aside again, right? Those are just the put-aside earrings today. Let's do this one more shiny necklace. And there's some sea bead earrings in there that are so cool. Then I will make my thumbnail, and that will be it for today. For this video, anyway. If I can get this one out. It's a long piece, and it's hooked to something fabulous back there. Oh my gosh, it's going to make me take out that other necklace because I can't stand it. It's so cool. I bet you it's a J. Crew. Okay. Put that little baby over there. Is this all one? Here's one part of the clasp. Here's the, hopefully here's the other. Yes, there it is. And wow, needs a little untangling, but I think it's going to be a fabulous, fabulous thing. Okay, let me put it this way. And just take a minute if you don't mind. It's very blustery here today. The wind's blowing and it's not quite raining, but it's like threatening to, you know. But I like those kind of days, too. just feels kind of cozy to be inside. I'm usually a big-time gardener, but I'm not sure I'm going to get to that this year. I've got a lot happening with YouTube, and I'm so grateful for that. So I might not do as much gardening. All right, I think you get the idea. This is going to take a little bit of time to get it just perfect. But... It's a multi-strand necklace. I might have to just do it on the next video because I do want to give it justice. I mean, look at that, that pendant that's on it. It's absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful, beautiful gold finish. I love the texture of that chain. Also has rhinestones. So if I can't get this looking looking really good right now, I might put it on the next video. So you might have to stay tuned. We'll see, right? Let's see. Wow, this is definitely a stunning, beautiful necklace. I mean, what piece of jewelry isn't beautiful in some form, but... And you've got all those AB crystals on a crown, and you have pearls, and you have textured chains, rhinestones running all along. That's a beautiful piece. It has a lobster claw clasp. The metal does feel lightweight, and it will need a little fiddling, but aside from that, I wonder if someone added that later since it's so colorful. Maybe not, maybe it goes with it. But let's see what it measures. And I will offer this pretty baby all those multi pieces in there. It is 16, 17 inches on that first portion, the drop. And then it has a two and a quarter inch extension chain, and wow. Okay, we're gonna say $13 on this necklace. 
I want to go a little higher, but I also want things to sell. So I've got to do that. Okay, I'm going to clean off my area here. Start to make my thumbnail, but I also want to finish our craft jar if we can. It's good news that we didn't get a lot of crafty items in the jar, I mean in the bag just yet, but these are pretty heavy cat eye glass beads. And they've come off of this silver something. Might be sterling, don't know, but that's going to go in the craft jar. And I have been holding on to this watch because of the gems in it. Somebody wore it and loved it because you can barely read it. Oh, it's a Park Lane. Park Lane watch, but I love the gemstones and the hearts in there. If you love the watch, you want to keep it, that's fine, but there's one missing here and here. Or maybe you could do something with it and make a bracelet or something out of that. So that's going to go in our craft jar. And it's a park lane. Also have these so sweet earrings. They're gold tone. They have a little turquoise color bead in the middle. But one of them has fallen off. So all you have to do is glue that on there. And they also have some darker rhinestones around the outside. So... This might even be a real piece of turquoise in here. Let's see if it feels cold. Could be. But those are going to go in. Should I just... Yeah, I'm going to leave them in the paper so they don't get lost. And I might have to put this in at the top. So you're going to have to move over there, little baby. These are a heartbreaker for me. They're beautiful, heavy, vintage articulating earrings but the finish on them just isn't great so maybe someone knows how to hey you know what you could do you could paint them with acrylic paint like a white color or anything I didn't think of that those are really heavy those are going in got a purple stone that is acrylic a one earring with some blue stones another heartbreak these are very old screw back earrings that have a big giant faux pearl on them, but they're just a little scratchy. The gold tone is beautiful and the mechanics of them is wonderful. I just love that size. They are still wearable. I mean, no one's gonna really stare at you and say, oh, there's a little scratch in your earring. So you could wear those or you could craft with them. Up to you. This is a little tiny brooch. AB crystals, silver tone, little pin, but there's a couple missing. This is a cute bag. It has some gold tone jewelry, glass piece, art glass, pink glass, gold tone thingies. Um, this is a little tiny crystal here. Isn't that cute? A little flower. Pink pearly thing that looks like something from the Japan necklaces that they have. And a round doll bead. And these I'm trying to give out a little bit in each video because they're stunning. Look at these crystal beads. So beautiful. So I'm going to put a couple in this jar as well. Wow. I mean, someone tell me why that is so much more beautiful. I know there's some AB coating, but they're definitely like real lead crystal or something. And there's some smaller ones to go with that. Maybe they are uh, Swarovski. Who knows? But those are going in there, and I'll save a few for next time. Okay, I'm trying to fill this craft jar. I'm digging around in all my stuff. Find some pretty, pretty babies. Hmm. Sorry, I 
do want to get moving on this for you. Okay, this I was going to put in a craft drawer last night, but it had a bunch of vintage necklaces already. So I'm going to put it in this one. This is an Avon piece. It's an NR Nancy Rise of New York Avon piece. But it just has some glue issues. So if you want to revive that, wonderful. Then we have this super cool pendant. I'll put that in. This is a beautiful pendant on brass. Like a zebra print. Love that. Might even be shell. It does look like shell, but I can't be sure. And I'm going to put in this gold nugget chain I've had forever. I'm pretty sure it's gold plated, maybe an 18 karat gold plated. It's on an older spring ring. It does have like it has like two letter A's back to back or something. And I did look it up one time. I don't remember what it was, but I'm going to put that in there. Might be able to take it apart and make some really gorgeous gold nugget jewelry. Okay. Now I have to try to fit this back in there, which I will do. But this is our Frida craft jar. I hope you love it. I wish I could get a few more pieces in there, but I don't want to keep lingering on the video. Um, yeah, I don't want to put those in yet because I might find something to go with them. So we'll say that's that on the Frida Craft Jar. We'll do that for $20. Hope you love it. I hope you enjoy those. I know I really love to make them. So now I'm going to go make my thumbnail if I can stand it that this pink necklace is screaming at me all right forgive me I can't stand it it's screaming at me we have to see it just one more for the Gipper oh my oh my I think it is a J crew because I think I see the J. Crew um, clasp. <gasps> Whoa. This is something to be seen. Oh my gosh. Can you believe it? Look at the pink. This is like a milk glass. This is a peachy color, very clear color. Then you have another color in here, like um, like a ruby sort of orange, AB crystals, another orange, and even inside of these flowers, there's crystals. What? Pink? All kinds of pinks and oranges. I wonder what this necklace is called. I guess I could do a like a Google search on it. Maybe I'll do that quick and see what happens. I can't wait till I can do that on my phone with you. I love the gold on their chains. It looks so beautiful and rich. Okay, let me look at the name because sometimes it looks like it's a J. Crew, but it might be another maker. It's a J. Crew. All right, let me try the Google search thing. Let's see what happens. Okay, I think I found it. I think this is called J. Crew Mardi Gras Wild Crystal Pink Rhinestone Necklace. Now, that might be this person's eBay description. I don't know, but I do believe it would be called Mardi Gras. It's a stunner, and they have it listed for $65. $66. Probably needs a little bit of fiddling with the flowers or maybe not I don't know but it's definitely a collector piece it does need a little bit of fixing let's look at the back that would help us yeah it might have like a little bit of bent there 
No, I think that's supposed to be because it, it makes the flowers go in different directions, but some of it may need a little fiddling. But the metal is in great condition and it's a beautiful necklace. I'm not finding any rhinestones missing. That's what's so great about J. Crew is they do such a great job in their construction that their pieces last a long time. <gasps> This is so stunning. What do I do? I can't keep it. I can't. Bolty, you gotta tell me not to keep it. Say, Mama, don't do it. Let's just see it against the nice clean. Oh my goodness. <gasps> Please. I'm like holding my head like, oh. This is a stunner. Okay, I'm gonna offer it. I'm going to say 55. It's beautiful. The one that she lists for 66 is not pink like this. It's a very light colored, muted kind of pink, which is also beautiful. But if you're going to wear a piece, I think you should wear a piece. So that's what I'm going to price this at and see what you guys think. Wow, how much fun to get another super duper J. Crew piece. I'll never forget the time I got that one in the 38 pound box and I didn't know what to say and it turned out to be like a really collectible. This is so hard to measure. I mean, I'm gonna say 16 with two inch extension. What a way to end a video. That's gonna be a great thumbnail piece. And I'll put my little pearly pearls here even though we haven't found our other piece yet and what else what do you think should be in the video in the thumbnail how about that sometimes if they get too busy they don't look as good so can't make it too busy but I'll work on that and I'm so glad you're here with me I enjoyed opening this new bag tell me what your favorites are please go give a like and a comment. I love those. It does support the video. And in order to keep doing this, we all need support with your likes and your comments. It tells YouTube that you like the content and that you want it to keep on coming on into your home. So do do that for me, okay? Thank you so much. I'm so glad you were here. And I'll see you next time at the Bobbles. Hi, it's Sherry with Blessed Bobbles. Wow, I'm so glad you're here. I'm so glad to be back here too. It's been a while since I made a video, so I'm so excited. I'm glad to be back and I'm glad you're here. So stay tuned and let's see what we've got.